welcome back. So we're going to finish talking about some of our beetles here. So we were looking at some colorful ones before. So now we're looking at some earth-toned beetles. So these are two very different beetles from very different families and very different places. Um, our first one here is known as the blue death feigning beetle. A blue so, what? Blue death feigning beetle. Are it's, they it's a, chill for me to try to hold them? Oh, they're very chill. In fact, they're a little too chill. In oh. fact, they might just die in your hand. <gasps> Not literally. Oh, just so, like what this one is demonstrating yeah, right so here. So that one there is in its classical death feigning position. So feigning means pretending. It's kind of a weird word. You don't hear it too much. I and, love it. Um, I prefer the scientific name as bolus varicosis. <laughs> oh. But um, as you can see, their main defense is to play dead, and they play very well. But you can tell they're faking versus real dead by the position. They will always outstretch their legs and leave them straight up in the air like that. And if you move them, they will return to the rid that position. So whoop, try to pull it away, and whoop, it'll just come right back to the way it was. How cute. They won't move from that position. If they're really dead, they'll just kind of be flimsy. They are such a beautiful, like, deserty periwinkle color up close and especially over this beautiful sand. Yep, and they're a desert beetle. Those are not quite native to New Mexico, but in Arizona and California, they're somewhat common in the lower deserts. They like really sandy, hot areas. And, um, well, we'll talk about babies in the next episode, but these are all adult beetles that we've been showing. So most people don't get to see baby beetles. Anyway, we'll get to that in a little bit. But first we'll talk about this other nicely colored earth-toned beetle here. So as you mentioned before, these are elephant beetles and you've been uh, playing with Mr. Juice over here. Would you yeah. like to hold Mr. Juice? I would love to try to hold Mr. Juice, but he is like not, oh no, I just threw my other friend upside down. He's okay, a little he's feisty, good. but... Here, we can put him on my sleeve too. He'll that's get a good stuck idea. there forever. So elephant beetles... Come on, Juice Boy. ...are part of the rhinoceros beetle subfamily of scarabs. So they're related to Hercules beetles, ox beetles, and a lot of our local common June bugs that we call June bugs are actually little hornless rhinoceros beetles. So these are males. They have these big horns used for fighting over territory and mates. And they have these extremely sharp, strong claws used for gripping onto trees and branches so that they don't easily fall off when they're fighting. And some of our elephant beetles can get to be the heaviest insects on earth. These are about medium sized males, but really big ones in the wild can be about 50% larger and almost <laughs> twice the mass. They are so cute. So I've been trying to make friends with this beetle. I don't know if you can, like, as a human, if I can make friends with this beetle, but I've been trying for like 30 minutes and he was not having it. And I feel like he's still a little upset that he's on me, but it's because he's just been drinking orange juice. And that's what I love about beetles is like, they just love drinking orange juice. Um, you can call them claws, I call them toes. And we'll get into this next episode also when we talk about babies, but beetles have mm -hmm. bangs. And as you can tell, I like bangs. So join us next week and we're gonna talk about baby beetles and also all the different parts of beetles and why they're so cute, especially as adults.